to the podcast. Video version. <laughs> uh, that was my Marty Moose, I think. Oh, okay. I didn't plan on it being Marty Moose, but... Who's that? Uh, from Vacation. Marty Moose. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Moose says we're closed. I say we're open. Not too bad. All right. So here we are, the Stuff You Should Know video edition, uh, sort of the game show that you don't get to play at home. Right. Because it's just between us. Yeah. You just sit there quietly. I spit something out in 60 seconds. It's Josh's job, in this case, to uh, tell me what he learned. Hopefully you learn everything twice. See how we do that? And uh, that's it. You going to start the timer, or should I? So uh, post-production timer somewhere around here. Go, Chuck. All right, Josh, I'm going to talk about dead animals in space. Awesome. Uh, the beginning of the space programs in both Russia and the U.S., scientists didn't know what was going to happen to living things in outer space because it had never happened. Okay. First thing they did in 1947 was they sent up a container with 106 fruit flies. Oh, okay. And they actually parachuted back down and all lived. It was a pretty happy story. Nice. Uh, the next thing up in 1948 in a V-2 Blossom rocket was Albert I. It was a, a rhesus monkey. And Albert died of suffocation a few hours after takeoff. Albert II came along, survived the flight supposedly, but died, burned up upon reentry. Uh, Albert II was also a monkey. Mm -hmm. uh, but the most famous one in space was uh, Laika, or Laika, the Russian dog. Okay. And uh, as you all know, that uh, Laika went up on Sputnik 2, which was rushed into production to correspond with the one-month anniversary of Sputnik 1. Turns out it was a little too speedy because uh, she died upon re-entry. The whole satellite burned up. God, that was close. Man, that was close. Yeah. I misstated something, too, so... Oh, okay. Well, I can't be held accountable for that. Yeah, I'm deducting one of my points already for, okay. for the next round. Well, I, I feel like I learned some stuff. Okay. Well, let's see what I've got here. Okay. Okay. Um, so you're talking about dead animals in space. Yes. Or animals in space. Sure. Uh, during the space race, we wanted to figure out what would happen with humans. So instead, we tested first on animals. Mm -hmm. um, started with a jar full of fruit flies, mm -hmm. which we sent into space, and they came back. They parachuted down even. Yeah. Which is crazy. Not each one of them, but... Right, right. Sure. The jar, I imagine, parachuted down. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they all survived. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty great. I'm sure that got everybody very excited. Uh, that was followed up by Albert One, a Reese's monkey, mm -hmm. who was shot into space on a V-2 rocket in 1948. Yeah. Okay. Um, that monkey made it back, died, <laughs> one of the two. Yeah, one of the two. And he was followed subsequently by uh, Albert II, another monkey. Mm -hmm. Electric Boogaloo. Who died, lived, <laughs> one of those two. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the, the most famous one is the Russian dog, Likey Lee, who uh, was put on Sputnik 2 mm -hmm. and shot into space. Oh, I know. Uh, one of the Alberts suffocated. Albert one suffocated. Okay. Okay. Uh, Likey Lee uh, died also uh, on Sputnik 2 in space, and uh, that was the end of the story. Josh, you actually corrected my misstatement, uh, I think by accident. Probably. We'll call it serendipity. Okay. But I'm going to give you a B plus. Oh, yeah, I can live with that. When in doubt with animals in space, go with died. Yeah, I would imagine. Albert one, uh, you're right, died of suffocation. Albert two died burning up on reentry. Uh, and Laika actually, I misspoke. I said died on reentry. Not true. That is the story that the Russians gave for years and years, uh, from 1957, I think, to 2002. Uh -huh. They said that she survived for four days and just burned up on reentry. Not so. In 2002, they proved that she died about three hours after takeoff and floated around in space, dead for four days. Crazy. And she was a Samoy mutt, and she was a street dog, and they pick street dogs because they're hardier and can take like cold weather better. Oh yeah, they're tough. Pretty cool, huh? They don't call them street dogs for nothing. Jeez. That's right. Uh, okay. Well, thanks for a B plus. B plus. Yeah. Not I bad. I can do better. I can do better. All right. Uh, thank you for joining us. We will. I will do better next time. I'll do better next time. You're okay. <laughs>